All right, hey, this is Mr. G again with a quick tutorial on how to get your pivot animation, add sound effects to it. Um, this is step two. Step one was how to export your pivot for video from pivot. You need to watch that video, so just look for my how to export pivot for video editing or YouTube. Now, step two is um, how to get your pivot movie file into Movie Maker. Well, first you got to open Movie Maker. This is a free program with uh, Windows 7, I think it's in Windows 10, it's on older versions. This is, uh, I don't know which version this is, but anyway, it's Movie Maker. You could also use iMovie, um, but I'm going to be doing this example with Movie Maker. So you're going to take uh, your pivot animation, which we just made. Uh, this was the animation, and uh, we exported it, and we got this file, the backflip AVI, and it looks like this. So we've got our sweet movie, but now we want to get it into Movie Maker so we can add sound effects. Um, so to do that, I am going to go into uh, Movie Maker, and I am going to take the uh, folder where I had back. Now there's two ways to do this. You can click to browse, click here for photos and videos, and you can go find your video wherever you saved it. And that is a great way to do this. I'm going to go to my H drive, classwork, period one. I have a lot of folders. And go to my backflip video. There it is. Say open. And there it is. There's my video. And I can zoom in and out. So I'm a little closer. I can grab this bar um, so I can view the video. And now it's in. The other way you can do it is like this. I'm going to go over here. I can open a window and drag it into this white area over on the right. I will drag the same video in and drop it. You'll see there's a line that appears right at the end of the video, and it drops it right there. Now, now the video is in twice. You can drag the video in as many times as you want. Have it repeat multiple times. Um, you can also just right control C, copy, and paste it uh, and have it appear multiple times also. I'll zoom back down. You can see there's a clear set of of uh, lines at the end of the video so you can see this is video one video two video three they're all the same video to delete them I just click on them and hit delete there you go that's how you get your video in to movie maker pretty simple I hope I hope that was simple